on the right path. I've got to go to Scotland, not least because there's a very young man here who doesn't even know what I'm talking about, can't possibly remember the days that I'm talking about. Robbie Parlane in Scotland. Go ahead, Robbie. Hello, thanks for having me on. Um, well, there's a lot of talk about Nigel Farage and reform today, but it was definitely sparked some controversy because one of their candidates was saying that Britain should have stayed neutral during World War II and not fought the Nazis. Uh, Nigel Farage was asked about this today and said that it was probably true, so kind of defended him. Now, I know you have a very anti-war stance when it comes to maybe Russia, Ukraine, or Israel, Palestine. So do you agree with that statement? I fundamentally disagree with it. And moreover, I think it is the first big political mistake that Nigel Farage has ever made. And that's a big claim, ever made. He should have said, that his candidate was talking out of his backside and, in fact, was no longer his candidate, was sacked. For somebody to say, days after the D-Day commemoration of the heroes that invaded Western Europe, that sacrificed on the beaches of Normandy, that it would have been better if we had bent the knee to Hitler and remained neutral, in a Europe where the Holocaust murdered millions of people, millions of them, people of all kinds, Jews, gypsies, gays, trade unionists, socialists, communists, murdered, massacred systematically more than 10 million people in the Holocaust, and we should have remained neutral? I think exactly the opposite, that the hour that we refuse to bend the knee to Hitler and make a negotiated peace with Hitler was, as Mr. Churchill said, our finest hour. And that the summer of 1941, when we, in the Battle of Britain, saved these islands from Nazi invasion, was our finest summer. If I'd been alive and if I'd been old enough I would have been the first man at the recruitment office to volunteer to fight fascism in Europe. My maternal grandfather, Thomas O'Reilly, a communist, an Irish Republican, a Roman Catholic, an Irish nationalist, volunteered to join the British Army in the Second World War and fought throughout under Montgomery in the Eighth Army. And when people said to him, why are you an Irish Republican fighting for the British? He said, I'm not fighting for the British. I'm fighting fascism. And fighting fascism is an absolute duty on all decent human beings. Because if fascism were to prevail, you could forget about all the other things that I stand for, that I have uh, fought for. So, Robbie... This is a major blunder by Farage. I'm sure that the Tories will drive a coach and horses through it. It has blunted his rise and rise. And I've got to tell you that what the candidate said and what Farage said is a view held by a fifth column that was present then and is present now in our country. People who in their hearts quite liked Adolf Hitler, quite liked fascism, and would quite like to put perhaps a different group of people into the death camps and the concentration camps again.